Let's understand the importance of uh, debt to equity ratio from banking angle. Now, when we analyze this debt to equity from banking angle, we have to divide this ratio into two. One is the optimum ratio and the other one is threshold ratio. One is optimum, the other one is threshold. Optimum ratio is the ideal ratio which every company should be aspiring for. Okay, Whereas threshold ratio is the maximum beyond which no company should cross. That is if the ratio touches this level then it indicates that it is actually a danger line. Okay, So what is ideal ratio? What is maximum? Let's see one by one. The ideal ratio is 2 is to 1. Okay, So what does that mean? When I say the ratio is 2 is to 1, it means my debt is my debt is actually two-third of total funds and equity is one-third of total funds. So when I say two-third of total funds, it means my debt occupies 66.67. If I express that as percentage, it is 67% of total funds and equity will be one-third of total funds and it's going to be 33 percent so this is considered as optimum or ideal scenario okay but it may not be possible in all cases okay then let's see what is the threshold that is maximum the maximum for debt equity is something like this three is to one so what do we understand by 3 is to 1? It means debt can be 3 fourth of total funds and equity can be 1 fourth of total funds. When we say 3 fourth, it means 3 by 4 and it is 75% of total funds and 1 by 4 means 25% of total funds. So what do we understand here is when we raise debt funds in our capital structure, at the maximum, the debt can be 75%. At the maximum, the debt can be 75%. It means equity should be at least 25%. The bare minimum of equity has got to be 25%. Okay. So if a company is going to cross debt level beyond 75%, then that is considered as danger. That's why the ratio greater than 3 is to 1 is considered as dangerous scenario. Why it is considered as danger? Because at this level, this company has got a lot of debt. That is 75% is debt. So anything greater than 75%, it means it is too much of debt. And what is the problem with too much of debt? You got to pay interest. You got to pay principal. Fine, that is associated with every debt. But you got to pay irrespective of what is happening in your business, whether you make profit or suffer loss. And it is not possible for a business to show only positive results all the time. Because business operates in an environment where we don't have control over the macro environment factors. So if the macro environment is going to undergo a change, then your business may not be able to make profit. But whether you make profit or suffer loss, it is immaterial. You got to pay principal and interest, even if the market is not doing well. So when you have too much of debt, you got to pay these, but you will not have resources to pay this. That's the problem. You will not have resources to pay these, so the people who have given this money will not wait for you to make the payment, but they would be demanding the payment. And if the payment is not going to be made promptly, or even after giving some time, then that is going to bring a major risk. What is the major risk? It is possible that your business would become insolvent your business would become insolvent you may not be in a position to pay so the lender would approach court of law and they would say that they would request the court of law to close the business close the business sell the assets pay back loan 
so that's the end of the game so that's the implication if the debt equity ratio is going to cross 3 is to 1 and that's why we call it as a dangerous position thanks for watching this video and i hope you like this lecture if you wish to learn more on the areas related to this topic check our comprehensive course i have shared the details and link in the description below click sign up and enroll 